Now that we've created a standard data extension and we've put information into that data extension, let's create a filtered data extension. So let's hover over subscribers and click data extensions and come up here and click create in the top right portion of the screen and click filter data extension and then click OK. And then let's search for our demo extension and click demo extension and click OK. And then let's drag and drop the attributes to define the filter that we want to create. So let's pull in gender. So let's say that gender is equal to male. We could save and build a filter data extension off of this alone. We could also pull in occupation and say occupation is equal to basketball. So we could take males that are basketball players and we could come over here to the filter logic and pull in our and or or filters here. So we could say gender is equal to male or the occupation is equal to basketball or we could change it and say gender is equal to male and occupation is equal to basketball. Let's keep it as and and we could save it as a filter and we could save this filter for future use later on. So you'd need to put the filter name, the description of the filter, you can choose to put an external key, and then you can choose the location for your data filter or create a new folder and then click save. But let's go ahead and click save and build in the top right portion of the screen. So the name I've put for this filtered data extension is demo extension underscore filter. And the description I've put for this is this is a filtered data extension or DE for the standard demo data extension. And then we can choose our location that we want to save this in. And let's click save. And then once this filter processes, we'll see a green check mark that says available here. And we'll see the number of records that come into this filtered data extension. And we can see the filter here and we can come up to records and see that LeBron James and Michael Jordan are in this data extension here. And if we come back to properties, we can see that we can also save this filter on the data extension itself here by clicking save as filter and putting in that information here. And we can see that we can use this filtered data extension for sending to our customers. And we see that email address relates to subscribers on subscriber key. And that's how you create a filtered data extension in Marketing Cloud. Make sure you follow these steps because we're going to use all of these steps for a final project at the end of the course. So go back and follow all the steps that I did in this video to create your filtered data extension.